start this. So hi Harsh, how are you? Hi Priya, I'm good. How are you? I'm also good. It's great meeting you. Thank you for your time. Also, you're having your attempt in November. <laughs> It's fine. Okay. It's fine. Your time is more important. I feel you got a rank. Oh. You're get, getting calls from so many people now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Okay. So, uh, first of all, uh, just brief us about your CA journey or your articleship experience. That how did you come to CA and where did your articleship yeah. in which field? So, yeah. So basically, I am from Lonavla. It is a town between Mumbai and Pune. For people who don't know, I've done my articleship from Pune. my foundation intermediate everything was from pune only done my article ship from pune shakandeval jain and associates in the audit department and it was not like a cliche big four audit department where only statoids are there but i did my internal audit stat audit tax audits and everything so that was there okay that was great so now, why then why did you decide to go for industrial training or what was the reason so the reason was for, not yeah. yeah so the reason was not fixed like you know many people who are damn sure in the beginning only that i will do industrial training it was not the case with me i just okay. wanted to explore i just wanted to you know go into new finance functions so i thought why not industrial training and it is worth the risk is what i thought and i was also done with audit so i thought let's go for it coming back to how did i apply obviously linkedin was the first source i you know reached out and messaged randomly to so many ex industrial trainees some i got replies i did not even get replies for so many things and then there was a telegram group also a c industrial trainees that yeah. i joined and i got to know about amazon i applied it on their job portal and luckily got selected so what what is your current work profile or what you actually work like is the things only related to ca or something different from ca what are the things you working on you, uh, of course subject to confidentiality you can just give us example or how or what things you are working on right so i am in the basically i am a financial analyst intern in amazon logistics division so let's say there is one fulfillment center okay fulfillment center is a place where all the products which the sellers sell on amazon come to for packaging and processing correct then there is a sort center sort center is places where all the packages are not processed but sorted into let's say you live in bombay so a uh, uh, fulfillment center is bombay in, is located in bhiwandi and uh, uh, there will be sortation done let's say priya lives in goregaon so goregaon uh, uh, goregaon ka ek division फिर बोरीवली का एक डिवीजन बायफर्केशन विल टेक प्लेस एंड देन विल फ्रॉम सॉर्ट सेंटर इट विल कम टू अ लोकल डिलीवरी स्टेशन और डिलीवरी स्टेशन से आपके घर पे दिस इज बेसिकली द सप्लाई सो बेसिकली ऑल द गुड्स व्हिच मूव फ्रॉम फुलफिलमेंट सेंटर टू सॉर्ट सेंटर द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन दैट दैट इज इन्वॉल्वड इज कॉल्ड द मिडिल माइल ओके सो आई एम अ पार्ट ऑफ द मिडिल माइल फाइनेंस टीम बेसिकली माय टीम लुक्स माय टीम लुक्स आफ्टर ऑल द कॉस्ट्स व्हिच आर you know let's say trucking costs for fulfillment center se south center mein ko truck lagana padta hai trucking ke kitne cost hote hai these are uh, amazon works around 200 lane pan india from south center to fulfillment center fulfillment center to south center now uh, there might be a possibility that from full, one fulfillment center to another fulfillment center also there is a requirement of goods so inter fc is what we call inter fc is also covered by my group and basically these costs so isme uh, whether distance is greater we call it line haul let's say it is only mumbai to pune it is inter fc it is milk run so shorter distance are milk run longer distance are line haul and okay. whether you put it via truck or you put it via flight all costs are covered by my team so i look after those costs planning those costs uh, strategizing those costs and other controllership Uh, projects also I work up on. So basically, the cost purpose of that lane you handle. How right, can we right, just uh, right. efficient cost for all the lanes like pan India? Uh, okay. Costing and planning the costing actually. Uh, what will be my spend for the next three years? Let's say. Correct. Budgeting kind of. Also. Right. Budgeting. Budgeting also. 
so i get the volumes i get the rates i will decide which vendor to put for which lane what is the most efficient vendor not only on the basis of the least rate but also other factors like you know is this vendor actually scalable in future mm. let's mm. say priya is offering me 200 rupees somebody else is offering me 150 rupees i'll still choose priya because there there is a possibility that i might require some uh, more volume in future and priya yes. is the one who will give me the a required volume so you so connect directly the, with the vendors who you have the uh, no i i my so finance will never talk to the vendors there are separate mm, operations team yeah, which right. will bring in data points finance will do the uh, analyzing of the projects Analysts, and everything and correct. then give the decision to operation and then they will decide oh so next we can go for like how was your interview experience at amazon or how much rounds were there was there any kind of psychometric test i am uh, hearing about these things uh, now that there were psychometric test or assessment test bc industrial training now have to go through so just explain the how how much were the how, like how much were the rounds and what was the process yeah yeah so getting into amazon i will say 75% depends on your cv actually not on the interview so your cv has to be very crisp very nice very very honest actually correct i had written some project which i did on my cv and the interviewer asked me if you can imagine the depth he asked me what were the number of line items in any of the excel you did oh. and wow. they check your actual genuinity so you know i did not say 10350 yes. i i was actually very actually very nervous because i had actually done the assignment i did not lie anything on the cv and you cannot recall the line items directly of course it that gives is. it gives the wrong impression that you are lying mm, or lying. you know there's some Correct. extraordinary thing so i was i say i said i did not remember i do not remember the actual line items but all i remember is the file size and that w- was actually a very big file in my first year it was around 16 mb of excel file so i said that and i was not sure about the line items but generally if i could go, go chronologically i got a call from amazon that you are shortlisted and everything i'm scheduling a pre screening interview so pre screening is generally very basic questions uh, will you be able to relocate and what uh, what is the notice period you will have to serve in your ex organization that was just like a, a test kind uh, of a thing or a with no, a panel no not a test no it was just one on one so amazon okay. me panel ek bhi nahi hua tha it was in hsbc amazon me there were no panels i had four rounds individually with everyone so in the first round it was a uh, basic logic questions basic accounting questions very basic not very high fi or in days or anything very basic accounting questions and then in round 2 and round 3 it was basically about my work ex they were grilling on my work ex mm. uh, so amazon has these 14 leadership principles and they want each and every employee or potential employee to you know abide by these principles so they the hr had before and uh, shared with me these 14 principles and uh, she had asked me to go through this so some of my per- people told me that you will have to these are 16 ve- uh, 14 vessels and you will have to put your work ex in these vessels so let's say one of one of the uh, leadership principle is frugality so uh, okay. where uh, Uh, are there any instances in your article chip where you have been frugal you saved a lot of clients money other one is let's say customer obsession customer obsession aapke uh, work ex mein aisa koi tha ke instance where mm-hmm. you were very obsessed towards the customer so these are the kind of questions which you can expect in an amazon interview provided this is very subjective i have known people who have been asked you know in days in amazon so okay. amazon hires across 20 teams for interns so it is very subjective and depends mm, on the manager exactly. also mm. just taking the interview so these were the rounds the four rounds yeah and a special mention i would like to do for hsbc which is not related to amazon hsbc interview was the best i got so basically i got short in, shortlisted in bpcl the interview was 1 minute over a phone call very informal interview and done i got shortlisted mm. they asked me to join but it was accounting so i rejected 
second was hsbc i'll come back to hsbc then was morgan stanley and then amazon morgan stanley i rejected because it was reporting profile i did not want to leave audit for reporting hsbc was grca basically similar profile to morgan stanley but the interview was very good i just like to mention a couple of questions which uh, the there was a panel right there was four people sitting in front of me it was over a zoom call only so one only one question i will uh, very deeply you know give an insight and other i i'll just tell the question so one question was let us say i am the interviewer you are the interviewee okay i am asking you priya uh, let's say 10 years down the line you are earning around you know 60 lakh per annum in a very good mnc now because you are coming from a brown background you know it how important it is to you know own a flat in a city and everything like that full emotional bt uh, i said yes it is one of my dreams to you know own a property in majority of the cities in india they will put you in the emotional thing first okay, yeah yeah okay understand now yeah. now i will ask you the question you are a financial expert okay you know the difference between paying a rent let's say for 30 40 years and owning a property getting a loan for the property and repaying the loan you have these two things we are not going into the details let's say your repayments present value of the loan is coming to 90 lakh and your rentals present value is coming to 1 crore you will choose the repayment option because it is a better option ah, if, yeah if it is the other way around if it is the other way around आपका लीज का 90 लाख आ रहा है और आपका रीपेमेंट का एक करोड़ आ रहा है प्रेजेंट वैल्यू तो मैंने बोला स्टिल आई चूज द लोन बिकॉज इमोशनली आई एम अटैच टू प्रॉपर्टी एंड आई नो आई ओन इट क्या हो गया इसके बाद उनने मेरे को असली क्वेश्चन पूछा ठीक है ही आस्ट मी नाउ थिंक फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ अ बैंक सो इफ अ बैंक गिवज यूर लोन what is the journal entry will pass it was very basic journal entry i said this 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 then they, they they knew that i did not work in any banking industry or let's say you know in my work ex also there were no uh, bank audits which i did and i have not written that so very basic journal entry she asked i gave the journal entry she was satisfied then she asked me the last question of this particular setup okay you know each bank will not give you a loan without a guarantee without a personal guarantee so you are done you gave us a personal guarantee now how will we record that guarantee i said oh my god i have not studied the indians my fr classes are not complete this madam is asking me you know uh, what is the journal entry of financial guarantee i was damn confused as now as i said give me 2 minutes i'll think so i thought 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 and then i came up with the answer which she was very satisfied with i said in my view financial guarantee will not come into your books because it is not actually recognizable it will become due only once i make a default in the repayment so i think you cannot record this guarantee you will record it once i make a default in the repayment so i don't know the answer is right or wrong but you are satisfied i still don't know the answer is right or wrong <laughs> but she was satisfied and then there were other questions what the, now these questions were actually on the workex how do you link a cash flow statement to a balance sheet what figures from pnl go to the cash flow statement one question was let's say your company's actual cash flows are very nice can you conclude that company is doing really well i said obviously no i'll have to deep dive and you know get to know what are the operating cash flows what are the financial mm. cash flows investing she said operating cash flows are very 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 low but investing are very high so i said then to for sure the company is going down because operations may are making loss yeah. you are liquidizing your assets to place your uh, to pay your current liability so there's an asset liability mismatch also mm. so she was satisfied and then i got Uh, you know shortlisted and everything so you were selected at I, hsbc yeah, yeah i was done at hsbc okay. i got the offer letter i was selected at morgan stanley i got the offer letter and then bpcl and then i finally chose amazon because amazon was something i was very excited about sorry it was also not a reporting job mm. so majorityly this is one tip for interviews Uh, all the investment bankings will take industrial trainees uh, and you know they will say that 
this is an investment bank you can start your career now but they will offer you reporting profiles which are not that good i'm not saying they are bad but not that good and it is not an investment banking job like mm, the investment right. banking which we think is interest rates as will do and go and uh, do in the first day that will not happen that will not happen correct correct that was good so the overall my... questions were very deep you know there was linking you should very, be very, very good at your concepts Yeah, yeah, yeah. Concepts very basic questions, but they will check. They will check your actual genuinity. Yeah, yeah. That that is also a good thing. So that was quite good experience of you uh, at your interviews. I didn't come across right. so deep questions in my interviews, but uh, that was very nice. I mostly yeah. had, uh, you know, I mostly had this all around the Indies and my. Uh, work experience at this okay so uh, after this uh, we can like if you can tell us about the study leaves things and the uh, so you were uh, is was there anything kind of uh, that uh, any leaves for the uh, sorry mcs and the advanced it my friends have been asked to compulsorily defer i have friends who were initially asked to compulsorily defer then their manager said you can go for leave so it actually depends on the manager and these industrial trainees very little very little to co- compared to what kind of jobs amazon is offering so there is no specified sop in amazon that industrial mm. training will come yeah. in for these many months go for yeah. three months and come again so everybody is confused you will have to figure out form 109 104 mm. everything by yourself okay and gmcs ittt are specifically to- told that you will not get these links so i completed those in my work from while i was working from home i completed them online only so one tip again on stipend that i have so many people reaching out to me that you know uh, how did you go and the first question they asked me is what is the stipend there what is the stipend there this is not the thing this is not one thing you should make your decision upon i got 52k offer from morgan stanley i got 40k offer from hsbc i rejected them all because the profile was not of my liking so first deep dive about you know what is your actual expectation if you just want to explore and either yeah. ways if money is your expectation then why not go for 52k that is not wrong everybody in life has, wants to earn money some some but, people have their uh, thing like financially so they can consider yeah, that so but yeah for that you can consider but mm. if industrial trainee first itself it is very niche and what for bfsi i think is in uh, industry once you go in it 5 years 6 years at least you have to stay there to make an impact matlab aap banking financial sector mein jaoge you will have to stay there and once you stay there for 5 6 years you come back to an e-commerce sector you are again on fresh be there because my mm-hmm. banking major terminology is hai udhar jo aap yeah. udhar to indies bhi nahi chalte that is different a lot yes so it is completely different mm-hmm. and if you join there initially industrial training theek hai but then you will get a ppo or uh, they will pay you hefty amount yeah. will actually consider it so mm-hmm. that will be there so don't do that mistake and investment banking will trick you for reporting jobs that i already covered Okay. that is something we should not fall for yes okay so i think we'll uh, uh, i think we can uh, just uh, shut this session and uh, it will be a great uh, benefit for the people for uh, basically for most importantly from the perspective of the interview questions and other right. things also right. at amazon and uh, thanks a lot for your time so yeah